testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast Quick Hits. Again, we're going to be in two a day, two a day, Monday through Saturday, two a day, and one a day on Sunday. Uh, welcome back to Quick Hit. Today is all about one thing, the return of the Leeds warrior, Josh Warrington. He's been out of the ring now, boy, about 15, 16 months, um, but it's, it's, it's good to finally have him back in the ring. Um, he's one of the more entertaining fighters. He's a fan-friendly fighter. All action throws a zillion and a half punches. It's good to have Warrington back. He no longer has a title. He vacated it uh, trying to get a fight with um, uh, Gary Russell Jr. Hopefully that fight comes to fruition at some point in 2021. It is a, it is a banger right there. Um, he is taking on Mauricio Lauder of Mexico. Uh, not uh, a name that most of us are familiar with. If you go back, you look him up. He's just 22 years old, I think. Um, he's got 21 wins in 23 fights. Um, he's run off about 10 straight wins with, with eight wins coming by na- way of knockout. He's a pretty entertaining fighter. Um, he can make this inter- interesting, but he's kind of fighting into Warrington's hands. Um yeah, he's not going to win the fight, obviously, but he can make this interesting. He can make this fun. He's he's not a bad little fighter. He's a pressure fighter. He's got more power than Warrington, but I, I you know, Warrington mixes up his punches so well. We're going to get into exactly what makes Warrington good, but this may not be. But Warrington's a guy that fought uh, Selby, Frampton, and Galahad. Besides Canelo, he was fighting the best competition of anyone in the sport over that period of time. Um, and then he took a two-up fight, and then he was out of the ring, and then he tried to get the Russell Jr. fight. Um, and that didn't happen, so he's taking this little tuna fight. But uh, full credit to to um,
Um, it, it, if you can use the ring, if you can stay away from him, he wants to fight in a phone booth. Keep moving. And when he gets inside, you just tie him up immediately, right? Because this whole fight is predicated on pressure on the inside. He can't fight if it's not a phone booth fight. Now, if it's a phone booth fight, unless he's fighting bigger bangers like Brandon Figueroa or a guy like that who would come up from 122 or even 130 and for uh, Miguel Pichel, those guys would be a headache. For him, although he'd be a lot quicker than Pichel. But still, Pichel's strength and brutality would be too much for Warrington, I think, if he went up to 130. Um. And if Figueroa, Brandon Figueroa, he's coming up from 126 at some point, uh, up from 122 to 126 at some point. I, I, that's a terrible matchup just based on styles. Um, Figueroa is a bigger, uh, you know, a bigger hitter. He's taller. He's lengthy. He's, he's lengthier. Um, he slips shots better. He's just a better all around fighter. So that would be a bad fight for Warrington. But if he can make things ugly for you, um, and, and he can back you up, he's really good at what he does. The only way to beat him is to make him uncomfortable and take that away from him, right, um, for most fighters. Like, if he went up to 130 and fought Jamel Herring, I think Herring could win, but Herring would have to fight a perfect fight. He's got to stay away, slip, pot shot him, pot shot him, uh, because he can be had. Um, just don't, you know, like I said, his, his offense, his defense is his offense, right? Don't let him get off. Don't let him get up. Don't let, don't let him back you up. He's not a big hitter, although his power – Possibly could be developed with the right trainer. Right now, he's not a big hitter. So, I mean, there's not much to be afraid of. Stand up. If he gets in, so just tie him up. Just tie him up. Um, if you can tie him up, if you can use the ring, you can kind of frustrate him the way Galahad did and, and kind of snuff out his aggression. Look, I think he was a very first, very close fight with Galahad. I thought Warrington won. I thought the judges got it right. I know that's very controversial. Uh, Thomas Triver, the ring announcer, who lives in San Antonio, home friends with, also thinks he won. But lots of people think he didn't, right? Lots of people think Galahad won that fight. It's a very close fight. Close fight. I thought Warrington won. Um, but you, you can see that what, what the blueprint that Galahad put in. A, a boxer can frustrate him and tie him up and don't let him maul you on the inside. It can be done. So that's the good and the bad of Josh Warrington. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing. Uh, right there. Oop, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing blog. Uh, it is January, uh, February 9, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get him into the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.